Yes, uh, thank you for having me again. I uh, appreciate uh, uh, the Sun Belt. Uh, I thought uh, for our first ball game, obviously we didn't win the ball game. We did some things that were uh, that were good in the ball game. Uh, but anytime you go on the road and you're playing a Power Five school, you can't have 15 uh, penalties, and uh, uh, which really hurt us eight on offense. And you can't turn the ball over three times. Uh, you know, good things. Uh, I thought we did some good things in the kicking game, even though we had four penalties in the kicking game. I thought there were some good things that happened for us, especially on punt. Um, uh, we did some good things there. Uh, we had three interceptions on defense, which uh, in 2017 we had zero. Uh, we, we probably should have had uh, five total interceptions. We, we dropped two. So uh, there were some good things. Uh, we, need to, we need to get more rhythm on offense and uh, uh, start fast. Uh, seven out of our first 15 plays were negative plays on offense. So we got to find a way to get that going. Thank you, Coach. Our uh, first questions come from Dan McDonald with The Advocate. Dan, please go ahead. Morning, Coach. I know you were disappointed in the offensive production of your team. Uh, what are some things that you that you are going to try to to do offensively to sort of get out of those? I mean, obviously you're playing a pretty good defensive football team. Well, there's re- really not a whole lot to change. We we weren't out of place. Uh, it, it, we felt like we were able to run the ball uh, fairly effectively. Uh, effectively, what we didn't do was stay on schedule. Uh, uh, we had, uh, we were one of 13 on third down. And I want to say eight of those, uh, 13 were, were third and 11 plus. Uh, so, you know, we, we, we had eight penalties, which set us back behind the chain. Uh, what we've got to do is eliminate the penalties and stay on schedule, uh, and give our quarterback a chance to, to be effective, uh, in, in what he can do best. Let me also ask you, uh, with the new redshirt rule and that freshmen can play up to four games, how how are you using that, and how would you use your freshmen during the year knowing that you can do that and still they can come back and still have their full four years and you don't have to burn the redshirt? Well, I think it's a great rule for, uh, for college football. I think it's one of the smartest things that the NCAA has done. Uh, it's allowed these kids. It allows you know programs like my uh, like myself and 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 other Group of Five programs to to be able to hold up at the end of the year uh, if you use it in that that aspect. What we do is we're trying to use them early in the year. Find out about guys early in the year. We have what we call a redshirt A and a redshirt B. Uh, we're going to play a majority of our guys early in the year. See if they can help us. If they can help us, they'll they'll remain uh, viable for us to play. If they can't, they'll they'll be redshirted. So. Uh, we have three non-conference games early. We're going to use them and uh, uh, see if those guys could help us. When you say redshirt A, redshirt B, uh, wh- what are those groups again? I'm sorry, I might have missed that. Well, redshirt A uh, guy is a guy that uh, we think might be able to help us right now. We're not 100% sure, so we want to make sure we get him in the game and see. Okay. Uh, if we have a redshirt B guy, a guy, guy that we know right now needs the weight room, needs maturity, needs some things academically to, 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 you know, to be able to survive a college football season, we won't put him out there if we don't think he can help us. Appreciate it, Coach. All right, and uh, thank you, Dan, and thank you, Coach. We do appreciate your time today. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, guys.